this is something that I really was amazed um, when I was researching you is that you're very open about your struggles with um, like mental health. And mm-hmm. I was wondering why? Wh- why are you so open? I don't know. It's an interesting question, I think. And it's nothing that I think I set out to mm. be open about. I think I don't really know exactly why I, cause I think, you know, for a long time people didn't talk about mental health. I think it's only yeah. until recently that people are super open and I think you see it everywhere now. It's like, it's, um, it's become sort of normalized, which is great. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think at the time, especially with my art, like it felt like the only way that I could really, um, reconcile with it a little Mm -hmm. bit. Like I had to, um, integrate it. And, and I think, you know, I have this, you know, Instagram practice where I post every day and like, I felt like if I'm making work about it, I have to give the context around it. Um, and I don't know. I, I, I don't know if it started out this way, but once I, once I was, you know, took those steps and, and, you know, had some transparency, transparency around it, I saw people really responding to it in terms of like, Oh, your post really helped me out today. Like Mm. I've been struggling and it's helpful to know that other people do too. And so, and I think after that and, you know, after I, just seeing the amount of people that would have responses like that, I felt kind of a somewhat of a responsibility to like continuing to talk about it and yeah. let people know that even if I have some, you know, times where it looks like, Oh, this guy's successful or he's doing this thing that I want to do. Like you must have to be this type of person to get those things. And it's like, you know, I'm like from this small town, like if I do anything that you're impressed by, like you can do this because there's no reason that I should be doing these things, mm. you know, mm. I and, think, and, plus yeah. with all, and, and with all the other stuff that I've dealt with, you know, that it, the, you know, adversities around mental health and stuff, it's like you can still have these things that you struggle with and, and succeed, you know, overcome them. And I think that's an amazing message because, yes, when I first saw your art, I you automatically imagine who you are, right? Mm. Or I, I, I did. And, mm. like, I would never have guessed, like, struggling with mental health and, like, because looking at your art, it's, uh, I think it's, it's very powerful and what the message... And your openness makes it even more powerful. Mm. Um, but you know, to go back to your your career in life, we were just talking about saying yes and being mm-hmm. open to opportunities, right? And that's that's spontaneity, mm-hmm. but. The other side of the coin is that you also quit without a plan, which which yeah. I was I was like, what? Because <laughs> it's it sounds like a terrible idea, but but you would have changed if it was that terrible an idea. Um, what's your mindset behind quitting without a plan? Uh, my mindset was not having a mind. I think at the time, <laughs> I, I, you know, it was, I honestly, it was like a true sort of mental breakdown. Like uh, it was like, you know, I was working at Nike with, you know, this job that it was this like kind of severe cognitive dissonance where, I mean, at the time I, I didn't necessarily think of it as a mental health issue. It, it was like, Oh, well, I have this job that I love the idea of it. I love, you know, working in skateboarding. Like that's a childhood dream. Yeah. Um, but I was working for this giant company that, you know, I couldn't necessarily reconcile in terms of my 
sort of disenfranchisement of capitalism and, mm. you know, believing that that was a system that has failed us and that we need to figure out a different way, all these things that I think I struggled with. And it was a multitude of, you know, things. It was like I hated the commute, all these things. Um, you know, I was, I was about to have a kid. Like, there was all these, you know, I think pressures and things that were on top of me that all of a sudden just came to a head and I like just felt like physically I cannot go and do this job. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah. And I think part of me, I mean, yeah, I had no idea what I was going to do really. Um, trying to think of at the time, like I, I ended up starting a business with a friend briefly doing, uh, creative work. Um, it was my friend Driscoll Reed. We had sort of like a, we were a creative team doing mm -hmm. some agency work. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, there was no real plan. I remember it's one of the things that stick out in my mind the most was, uh, I'm friends with Aaron Draplin, which I don't know if you if you know who that is, but mm -hmm. he, um, he's a designer here in Portland. And I remember, visiting him in his studio one day and, and he was like, why, why'd you quit your job, dude? You're about to have a kid. And like, it was one of the first times where I'm like, what am I doing? Why did I do this? Wow. And where I was like, Oh, I think kind of like really scared a little bit of like, mm. maybe this was the wrong thing to do and I should have figured out a way to uh, stick it out or whatever. But, um, yeah. And I think for a while I, I definitely floundered in terms of like what I was going to do and going to grad school was sort of the way out of, um, trying to find the next thing. I mean, and that was a serendipitous thing as well. Like I, I didn't necessarily plan to go to grad school. It was just this mm. meeting people at the right time, the right place. And then it just happened. And I, it's like, none of it's planned. I don't think anything that I do is really planned. And and that's one of the things that I, I beat myself up about that. I'm like, I see the successes of other people and like, Oh, they're so organized. Like, I don't know if you know the podcast, uh, creative pep talk. Um, sure. Yeah. Andy Miller. Um, he's awesome guy. And, uh, so I listen to his podcast a lot and mm. he has great advice. Um, I'm like, I feel like I give advice to people that is usually pretty good, but I'm terrible at taking my own advice and mm. t taking advice from other people. And I listen to his podcast and all of the things that like, I feel like I should be doing. And I'm just like, I, I can't, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's self doubt or whatever, but the organization around like a strategy, like I've just never been strategic mm -hmm. around my work really. Um, so, yeah, I think, uh, and I, I, lately I'm like trying to get there, but it's, it's taken a while for me to like, I think have the faith in my artwork and the faith in myself to be able to like promote myself in a way that I feel comfortable. But, Cause I, I, I never, I think for a long time that sort of hustle, which I, I've always not liked that word, but like mm -hmm. of being a self promoter, I've just not liked the feeling of that, even though I studied marketing, which, yeah. um, which should make me feel totally comfortable. But, um, so yeah, just things have happened and I haven't really planned it at all. Huh. Um, I think actually I, I will say, yeah, I haven't necessarily planned it, but I have gone after the things that I've wanted to do. And, um, I guess I, I, I have to be a little bit more transparent about that because there are things like I did a residency in uh, Berlin at this um, tech company mm -hmm. and like that was, you know, strictly through. It's like they didn't like ask me out of nowhere. It mm -hmm. wasn't like a thing that I didn't plan. I, I mean, it was in the end, but like I reached out to them. I was making work inspired by what they were doing. And then through that, they asked me to do this residency and asked right. me to come to Berlin. So that right. was like a complete shock. And, but if it wasn't through me, you know, being inspired, reaching out to them, like, but those things were just happening naturally. Like mm. 
it would seem like maybe a hustle or like strategic, but they really weren't. It was just born out of my, you know, out social nature and, and being excited about something like not, not th- overthinking it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, being self-taught, do you think that you have struggled with like doubt because like you didn't go to school for it or you didn't learn the structures? Possibly. I mean, definitely, um, more so with illustration than design because Mm -hmm. I did get a little bit of instruction around that. And I think with design, it's a little bit easier because you don't necessarily have to have a style like you can be inspired by different things and and work in different modes and not feel like you have to have a certain style to do design Um, and and you can follow a style guide or whatever if you're doing client work um so but yeah so illustration has definitely been you know self-doubt and self-hatred and like imposter syndrome like Mm. it wasn't even until recently that i've been comfortable with calling myself an illustrator um just because i wasn't taught uh in illustration and and i think it's like i think if people look at my work you wouldn't necessarily say oh this guy went to school for illustration it's like i've only been drawing for like 10 years and um at the most and uh you know, I tell my kid he's better at drawing than I am just because he like, you know, it, it is like, I, I don't know. It's like, um, but then I think about like what I'm inspired by is like folk art and naive art. And like, so when I kind of criticize myself for not having like a trained hand or being able to illustrate things in a like super specific way, um, I go back to that of like, Oh, I don't really want my work to look overly Mm. rot. Like I think it's more the idea that I want to get across. Like I'm more concerned with communicating than, um, I mean, I want it to look nice and I think sometimes I even overthink that, but, um, I just, I, I also, I'm also impatient. I just want to get my ideas out. I want to draw the thing and, Mm. you know, share it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. 